What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this glitchy intro with After Effects CS6. So let me go and show you guys what it is right here. It's just very simple and easy to do. Of course, this will be a sort of advanced tutorial for you guys. But before we begin with the actual video, I'm going to go ahead and give a huge shout out over at VidEasy for making this video possible. If you have never heard of VidEasy, VidEasy is a free HD stock video footage website where you can download free B-roll backgrounds and other cool video footage. Uh, you could also explore and discuss footage with other videographers from around the world. And it's also a perfect little cutaway for your next big project. VidEasy makes it easy to explore thousands of clips created by people from all over the globe. All the videos are free to download and depending on the license, they are free to use all right, in your cool. project. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So open up After Effects, create a new project and go ahead and import your footage. So all the files and projects will be linked down below in the description so you guys can download it along with the sponsor. So once you've done that, go ahead and import your footage by pressing Command I for Mac or Control I for Windows or PC users. So Command I, and I'm going to be selecting the logo. Uh, this could be any logo you want, but I'm going to be using mine, of course, and the free stock glitch video that you guys will have to download. And then before we begin, we go ahead and go on to composition. We're going to go on to new composition and give the composition a new name. I'm going to just name it glitch, the preset, custom, 1920 by 1080 for the width and height. And then just keep everything just the same, 30 for the frame rate, resolution, full. The duration, we want that in between two to five seconds. I like two seconds just because it's quicker. And the background color will be black, so click OK. And then we go ahead and drag the logo onto the project here. Of course, you could resize it if you wish, but I like it just like that. So once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and select the free stock glitch video. Drag that onto the top just like that. Go ahead and click on it. Make sure you're on the same layer as the glitch video. Click and hold onto any of the corners and then hold shift to make sure that's proportional and then make sure it fills the whole entire canvas. Go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. So go ahead and right click in an empty area, go to new and then go on to adjustment layer. Go ahead and rename the adjustment layer to a uh, glitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this by right clicking and clicking rename or just enter and rename it. So I'm gonna just name this onto glitch. Glitch layer still selected, go onto the effects and presets. Go ahead and look up displacement map under the distort um, tab here and then drag that onto the glitch layer and it will just go like this. From here, you want to go onto the displacement map layer where it says one glitch, select free stock glitch video and then this will affect the actual video with this adjustment layer. And because we have that, we, don't, we no longer need it so we can go ahead and hide that layer by clicking this little eye icon next to the um, audio button there. So now if you go ahead and RAM preview, this is what it's going to be looking like for now. Of course, it is two seconds. You can also change the composition settings by going onto composition, go onto composition settings. From the composition settings, you can change this to whatever you want and it will um, change it there. So once you've done that, go ahead and move the glitch layer, uh, move the time head inwards just a little bit and then press alt or option on a Mac and alt on a PC and then left bracket to add an insert here uh, and then go a little bit further in and press alt or option right bracket to round it to the nearest frame and it will cut it there. And then from here you want to go ahead and make three copies so a total of four. So press command D or control D three times and you'll have glitch uh, one, two, three and four. Go ahead and click on each glitch and uh, glitch layer and drag these outwards and I'm going to just do something like this. And of course you want to change these to make sure that they're random and not the same. So I believe something like this would be good. And uh, like so. So something like this. Alright, so from here I want to go ahead and select each glitch layer and change the max horizontal displacement values and the max vert vertical displacement value to um, whatever you want. So you could make sure it's random for each single glitch layer. So for the first one, I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bit just like that, 24 and 25. For the next one, make sure you click onto the next uh, layer and then drag this a little bit more uh, just like that. And then this one's going to be a lot. I'm going to increase it to something like that. And then the next one, I'm just going to decrease it just a little bit, but not too much. So something like that would be good. And then if we go ahead and RAM preview this, it's going to look something like this. 
So from here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new Newell object. So right click, go to new, and then go to Newell object. From here, we're gonna go ahead and rename this to glitch or whatever you want, but I'm gonna just name this to glitch. And then from here, what you wanna go ahead and do is make three copies of our logos. So in this case, I have my name as King Touch Pro, so I'm gonna press Command D or Control D if you're on a PC. So uh, make sure that is three times, not four. And then you will have three, a total of three logos. Uh, go ahead and rename each single one. So for the bottom one, uh, this one has to be green. So right click and rename this to green just so we can stay organized because if you're not organized, everything will be much harder. So green, blue, and then red for this top one here. So once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and go onto the effects and presets. And we wanna go ahead and look up levels under the, under the color correction, drag the levels, the individual controls, drag that onto each single green, red, green, and blue layer. So we're gonna drag that onto green. We're gonna go ahead and drag that onto blue. And we're gonna go ahead and drag that onto red. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on the red, uh, the red layer here and go onto the effects controls here. If you don't have that window, go to windows and then go to effects and presets. That's for this one here. But uh, make sure that the effect controls is um, open. So just go down and select effect controls here. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and make sure that with the red layer, you wanna select everything but red. So green and blue. And for the green output white, we want to change 255 to zero and the blue output white to zero as well. So once we've done that, we got to do the same thing for the blue. So we're going to do green and red instead. So everything but that color. So zero and zero for red and green. And for the red or for the green one, we're going to do red and then blue. So we're going to change this to zero and we're going to change this to zero. If you click and drag down, this will hide all of the layers. So we have green, we have blue, and we have red. Go ahead and enable all of these so that they're visible. All right, guys, so instead of this one being named glitch, we want to go ahead and rename that to split. So right click and rename that to split because it's going to be our RGB colors. So rename that to split. And then from here, we want to go ahead and look up the color, the slider control. So Look up slider control under the expression controls. Drag that onto split like so. From here, we're gonna go ahead and change the red mode here. We're gonna go ahead and change that to screen and we're gonna go ahead and change the blue to screen. So make sure it's not light make sure it is screen and we're gonna leave green just alone so it stays white. So now if we go back to the uh, split here, once we've renamed it and we go onto the effects and presets and we type in slider, we're gonna have slider control under the expression controls. Drag that onto the split layer here. So from there, you also wanna make sure that the top left under the effect controls on the split layer here is locked. And then from there, we wanna go ahead and click on the red layer, press P for the um, position, and then you're gonna have this here. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and hold alter option on a Mac or PC and click this little stopwatch icon, and this will bring up the expression position. And we're gonna go ahead and type in wiggle and then parentheses 10 comma drag this little spiral looking thing and drag that onto the slider that we have applied onto the split control here and then we're going to close that with another parentheses and just click off of it so once you've done that we want to go ahead and close down this layer and then from here you want to go ahead and change the split so we have here and we can change it and now it will look something like this or something like that so once we've done that, we're gonna go onto the split layer, click this little arrow icon, go to effects, and then from the effects, go to slider control, and then we wanna go ahead and create a first keyframe. So click this little stop icon to add our first keyframe. From there, drag uh, the time head one frame before our first glitch layer. So one frame before. Now you can move in between frames by pressing the page down, the page up and page down. Page down will go forward into the timeline. So I'm gonna go page up to go back one frame before the glitch. Then we're gonna go ahead and create uh, another keyframe. Make sure that this is set to zero. And then move the cursor uh, right onto the glitch right here. And then type in 10 or 20, anything in between works. But I'm gonna just type in 20. From here, we're gonna go ahead and move it just like so onto the end. And then make sure that we create a new keyframe so that it's on 20. The value should be 20 for this keyframe. And one frame over, and then we're gonna type in zero. So now if we go ahead and RAM preview this, this is what it's going to look like. 
all it's doing is creating the RGB colors, the shifting is going to be shifting when the keyframes are applied to this first glitch layer. Now we're going to go ahead and select all of these and press command C and then click off of it, move the time, the playhead and then press command V to paste them. If it doesn't work, just try again. So command V and then do the same thing. Move the playhead to the very, to the very beginning. So you make, so you know that it is right on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. And just like that, copy these two um, over here. So now we should have something like this, which is good. But the thing is a little bit too strong, the effect. So we're going to highlight all of these key frames. And then from here, we're going to right click and go to the keyframe assistant. And we're going to go easy ease and this will just make everything more smooth. So it's going to look something like that, which is what we want. So once we're finished with that, we're going to go ahead and right click on an empty area, go to new and then go on to uh, the adjustment layer. So click on adjustment layer. We're gonna go ahead and rename this to TV effect and then make sure that the TV effect is still selected and go on to the effects and presets. Go ahead and type up TV and then you will have under the animation presets, image and special effects, select the bed TV three week, drag that onto the TV effect layer. Okay, so once you have done that, press G on the keyboard for the mask, um, key here or you can go to the top here and select the pen tool and uh, all we have to do from here is just make a selection and to do that just click here anywhere in between and uh, do whatever you want with this of course this mask here and change it to however you want so I'm gonna do something like that for now and then cool so once you've done that you want to go ahead and uh, press uh, alt left bracket key again alter option left bracket key and then drag this towards the towards the middle here and then again alter option right bracket key to exit out of that and then make sure that this is kind of random too you don't have to make sure that it's aligned with this but you can if you want uh so something like that and then all you got to do is uh from here you can always make three copies of the same effect or however many you want so command d just like that i made just two in this case. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little longer. Make sure you space these out to two. So something like that would be good in my opinion. And then select the next TV effect two and change the position here by clicking and dragging on this to however you want. Make sure that it is again random so it's not kind of the same. So something like uh, so. And then cool. So now we're pretty much finished. All we have to do is just add the audio and uh, cool. So now we go ahead and just minimize everything here. Once we're finished with everything here, we're gonna go ahead and RAM preview so you can see what it looks like with it. And with the sound effect, it will sound a lot better. So we have something like that. Cool. So now we have this onto the project. If you're somewhere like this, just click this little um, like line here and drag that towards the front to go to the project, right click and go onto import file. And then I will also leave this file um, for you guys to download in the description. So we're gonna go ahead and select glitch volume one, oh, uh, click open and this will import all of the items that are in there, which is full of uh, glitch sounds. There's 35 audio files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select some. And what I like to do is I just click and drag this onto the very bottom of the timeline here. And then we just want to make sure that it aligns with the glitch effects. So same thing for the shortcut, alter option, left bracket key. You could also just use the mouse and drag that. Um, and that works too. So the next one, I'm gonna just do four. And then I'm going to drag this towards here. Now make sure that this is kind of in the beginning because if you kind of move it towards the end, it's kind of, there's no audio there. So just use the very beginning of the audio files. So here and here. Now, of course, this comes in handy. The shortcuts come in handy if it's this long. So Alt, Option, right bracket, key. So I'm gonna do maybe 10. And then I'm gonna drag this one to this one because that's glitch four, I believe. No, glitch three. So I'm gonna drag this over here. So I know it's aligned. I drag the playhead. Also drag the playhead towards the end of that one. And then Alt, Option, right bracket, key to end it. And something like that. And then the last one here, I'm going to do 14. So 14 looks good. Alter, actually, I'm going to drag this towards the front because we won't have audio there. 
and then the same thing, alter option, right bracket key. You could also add more if you wish. Go ahead and play around with that if you want to. Um, you can add more sound effects to these as well. But to save time, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but in this case, once you're ready to finish and export, go on to go to composition and go to add to render queue. Go to output H.264 and just click render. And then it should uh, render this whole entire thing. And this is what we did with After Effects CS6 in a little bit of time. So let's go and play it. So, if you found this video helpful in any way, please, please leave a rating below. Let's see if we can hit 300 likes this time on this video. And leave a comment down for any video suggestions. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.